Hey friends, uh, welcome to the newest series of video tutorials. Uh, this is this is the video tutorial in which I'm going to show you how you can uh, use the material design uh, which is included in Lollipop Android Lollipop 5.0 uh, into the phone gap. Okay, we'll have released. Uh, the platform to use or to design uh, the lollipop UI in phone gap application or for the uh, HTML applications okay uh, that is called polymer okay this is the project by the Google uh, by using this polymer project you can uh, create your own uh, material design by using the simple jQuery JavaScript and HTML5 okay uh, today I'm going to show you how you can configure uh, the polymer into the phone gap applications okay it's a very simple so just follow the steps okay uh, today okay so let's start uh, first of all I'm getting the SDK or related JS files so just click on get started get the code here you can find the link to download the whole zip file okay <laughs> get the polymer okay these are the different different scenarios you have to download just a simple zip file okay and after that after downloading this you will get the like this okay you will get the component pages and uh, these two points okay and more for uh, the polymer and uh, web component JS okay so this is the basic structure or you can say uh, it's a SDK okay uh, by uh, which can help you to create the polymer design okay so let's start so here First, I have created a simple page over here. Okay, so first of all, I have imported uh, the web component JS to my project. This is the compulsory. Okay, uh, and that I can find over here the web component JS. Okay, like this. If you if you want to use the minified version, you can also go with the minified version. Okay, after that. The Cordova JS that is the uh, you can say if you are developing the phone gap applications uh, it is a compulsory JS okay but right now I don't need this so but still uh, I'm not removing that okay so now these are the most 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 important links okay why let's uh, discuss that first okay uh, suppose I want to you uh, I want to create a button just like a material design uh, which looks like a polymer button right so that's why uh, I have to include these links before creating a button okay now uh, I'm sure you are getting a question that uh, how can I get the name of these HTML files okay uh, so for that if you go back to your SDK and select the components okay from here you can get all the details about your uh, controls okay suppose you want to use the icon button so you have to import this core icon button HTML into your main index page okay same for the all the things okay suppose you want to code selection core toolbar footer button checkbox ripple shadow tabs everything okay whatever you want to use you have to first import that into your project after that you can use that right so here if you notice I have already included all the details okay these are the uh, uh, files related to my button these are the core icon button that means a uh, button with icon uh, this is the core toolbar and this is the media okay media queries support for the media queries right I have given us some uh, uh, you can say the CSS 
okay now how we can implement uh, the core functionality okay suppose let's start with the button I'm uh, removing all this stuff okay so if you want to create a button so you have to go with the pepper dash button okay this is your text and uh, this is your and text okay and uh, one more thing you cannot run this HTML pages from the root you have to host this project into the IIS or into the XAM or into the VAM okay whatever you want okay I have a VAM server so I have already hosted this project into that okay this is the poly and this is my index page okay so let's uh, access this localhost poly okay this is my simple button if I click on this you can see the whole effect of lollipop material design right guys suppose I want to change the color of this button to blue so I have the CSS you can go here and write a blue or whatever the color you want okay like this it will automatically set uh, the details okay and the more details you can get from the polymer-project.org okay so just go with the element and after that element guides elements okay these are the elements core element paper elements okay let's uh, come with the paper elements so here we are using the button if you want to see the button okay this is the flat raised no ink okay it's a different different uh, properties now uh, if you uh, use this and then you can understood what is the difference between them okay you have to make the practice of these buttons okay let's uh, oops this is raised and uh, no ink right yes okay let's check the difference okay these are the three buttons okay this is the flat button if I click on it it's working normally this is the raised button that means when I click on this the button will get popped up like just small popped up right you can see the shadow is uh, down okay and this is knowing that means the, there is no effect on this button right it's a very simple you have to just set the attributes out, uh, out there and it will work automatically right at once uh, we have a uh, lots of uh, different different icons out there and uh, you can say the properties out there right suppose I'm doing one more thing the core icon that is favorite okay so for that you have to import something more like core icons okay and core icon buttons so here for the login button I'm gonna set the icon let's check whether it's working or not right yeah it's working icon is also working right guys like this you can uh, create your own project with the very simplest way okay you do not need to do the native code or you do not need to learn the java if you don't know about the hard uh, you, you know high level programming okay you can just use the polymer project okay but it's a uh, startup project okay there are lots of uh, bugs out there in this project okay and uh, the loading and the performance is a little bit slow uh, to develop the mobile applications now this is the uh, 0 0.8 alpha so the performance of this polymer 0 0.8 alpha is uh, pretty good compared to the 0 0.5 okay so you know you need to just wait for a while to release the newest version of the polymer okay so till then you can uh, make a practice of this new polymer project so when Google releases its first official version, so official for the production, then you can use, then you can create the new app.
new HTML apps for the phone gap application by using the HTML5 and jQueries. Okay, guys. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, Polymer tutorial and uh, I need your feedback and uh, suggestions. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, uh, also like us on Facebook and uh, YouTube. That is the youtube.com slash webboostings. Thank you for watching. Till then, bye bye.